we can all agree that Mother's Day is a fake holiday created by lazy moms who want a day off. <laughs> sure, some moms deserve it, but most do not. And who better to determine whether you're a good mama or a bad mama than me, a man? <laughs> First mama. All right, see ya. Love ya. Love ya, we'll talk more. Right, Yeah. Mom. Fuck! <laughs> Hopefully he's still on her insurance. So is that mama good or bad? First of all, she rear-ended her son. Second of all, she let her son own a motorcycle. Third, she raised a potty mouth. This is a textbook bad mama. <laughs> on to the next mama. on a scooter saving the environment, plus she's got amazing reflexes. She sacrificed her own body for her child, again. Kid never even touched the ground. That's a good mama. <laughs> Hit me with the next mama. you really teach that driver a lesson? Smash your baby through his windshield. <laughs> She's awfully high and mighty for someone who just abandoned their child in the middle of the intersection. That's a bad mama. <laughs> Enough drama. Give me a mama. Wait, is she here? <laughs> You should never slip and slide in the house, and it's especially dangerous in a tiny house. That's a bad mama. <laughs> I need mo mama. Yeah, She's perpetuating a culture of sexism and outdated gender roles by using that language. On the other hand, her son is being a huge pussy. <laughs> That's a good mama. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to only the good mamas out there. I guess dancing at spring break was on her bucket list. <laughs> oh. Let's put 20 seconds on the clock and see how many funny comments we can post. Finally, a white chick black guys don't want. My beer goggles need beer goggles. She can make her C-section clap. Whatever, the older the berry, the sweeter the juice. Prune juice. The upside to banging her is she probably can't get pregnant anymore. <laughs> Spring break, seniors rule! Now remember moms, no cleavage, no likes. The hottest angle is the one where we don't see your kid. Hashtag stay at home mom. Hashtag family is everything. Hashtag mom life. Hashtag the struggle is real. Hashtag up before you. Hashtag toughest job in the world. Hashtag thanks, paleo. Hashtag my husband is cheating on me. Uh, if only there was a selfie stick and some lightning. Did you happen to snap a pic of the man who kidnapped your child? She's gonna submit these to the Bachelor producers. Move over, Julia. There's gonna be a new deadbeat mom in paradise. Maybe putting her on blast isn't the most mature thing, but my cell bill was over two grand during my vacation. Milky bitch keeps sending me selfies every 10 seconds. I don't have unlimited data while I'm vacationing in the south of France. Que puis-je faire pour vous? Un pamplemousse, s'il vous plaît. Bien sûr, monsieur. Grapefruit. <laughs> Remember, kids, there's no such thing as casually dating a single mom. <laughs> Max, what do you want for dinner? Justice. You missed a 
few bites. <laughs> Now, sit down funk gonna give it to you. Don't believe me, just watch. <laughs> All right, this is the last time we let mom order the Jack Daniels glazed wings. It's okay to laugh at her. The Fraggles don't watch this show. Do I give her my number or put my wallet in her mouth so she doesn't bite her tongue off? <laughs> Fingers crossed she brings that same jerky rhythm to the bedroom. Haircut's starting to make sense. Okay. Stop spazzing out, Cher, and you're gonna end up with a bad bob. So sad that her sister's husband cheated on her. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me. This has got to be the most adorable crime video of all time. Andrew, are you excited for pre-kindergarten? Yes. Why? I don't know. Are you gonna miss your mom? No. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, just why are you? <laughs> he expressed every emotion a human is capable of feeling in the span of one second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just why are you? <laughs> Nothing's wrong with being a mama's boy. I hate that I live so far away from my mom. But you're out of your mind if you don't think I'm gonna use my TV show to meet that kid. Totally freaking out about the first day of school right now. Gonna miss my mom so bad. Do you wanna know what I got you? Yes. It's a lunchbox, so you can always see your mom and have lunch with her. Say hi. Hi, Mom. Hi, Andrew. I miss you, puppy. Tell your mom say hi. <laughs> Don't cry, it's just a lunchbox. It's not actually in there. He might just be a crybaby. All right, kids, let's use this next video as a learning opportunity to not keep your weed in a giant clear jar labeled weed. Bro, she, look, this lady wild, bro. She just, bro. Bro, my weed. And just like that, the war on drugs is over. <laughs> your housekeeper's kind of a bitch, bro. <laughs> That's your mom? Mm -hmm. You wanna get her back, flush her Hitachi magic wand down the toilet? <laughs> That's a pussy shaker. <laughs> That's called a Willie Nelson BM. <laughs> the saddest bowl anyone's ever packed. <laughs> Thankfully, his house is on septic, and I know a guy online who films himself swimming in septic tanks. Yeah. <laughs> He could rescue your stash. Nobody respects their parents these days. What are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? She's not playing by your rules anymore, Karen. <laughs> Typical Patriots fan, alcoholic by the age of 14. Full disclosure, Mom, she can also take a fat bong rip. The best way to drink light beer is to butt chug it. Nobody enjoys the taste. Silly, silly. Silly. <laughs> Something similar happened to me. My dad caught me drinking a spicy watermelon mint agua fresca mocktail. To teach me a lesson, he made me secretly date my best friend Joey my entire sophomore year. Oh. Welcome to Sex Talk with my mom. Today we are together and we're doing dun, 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 a sperm test. Because it always comes down to Cam's premature ejaculation issues. No, because you glad bring it there. Cover. You bring it there. People are going to People the butt. are going into the butt and enjoying. Are you kidding me? You're not going to be the dom. You're going to be the sub. <laughs> okay, <laughs> mother. I will come so quickly. <laughs> First, you're just walking down the street just having, coming in your pants. <laughs> That's a good point, but it's not like you can unbreak a hymen. Mom, I didn't break the hymen. I guess you could say I learned about prolapsing the hard way. Are you talking about the pink sock? Ew. That's scatting. It's not just for Germans anymore. Mom, when was scatting ever for Germans? Come in. 
Hey, Daniel, thanks for coming on the podcast. Oh, I've never been asked to be on a podcast before. Oh, this is so nice. Normally, guests sit in the chair over here. Oh, if this bed could talk. Guys, thank you for inviting me into your home. Lovely. Welcome. Where are you from? Chicago originally, but we moved, I moved here two years ago. Why? I have a boyfriend that lives here, so. You have a boyfriend? How does that make your father and husband feel? He was murdered, unfortunately. Holy shit, this started off. <laughs> yeah, it got so real dark. How up. far in the past is that? I'm not, we're not leaving it just yet. It's 12 been, years. Yeah, 12 years. Well, I'm horribly sorry. Thank you. So you guys have a podcast uh, for people that like to have sex with their moms. No! <laughs> sex talk with my mom. That's, in other words, we're opening communication between children and their parents about sex. Do you know a lot of people who want to have sex with their moms? That's what I was thinking. I was like, how many people in this country? Because you have a lot of viewers. Yeah, we have a ton and, of viewers. And all of them want to have sex with their mom. No. no. All of them want to have sex with your mom. No. Well, yeah, kind of. <laughs> Whose idea was it to do the podcast? How long have you been doing it? She wrote a book called The Cougar's Guide to Getting Your Ass Back Out There. You know, and I started a YouTube channel, mainly to help other women going through being single again. And it turned out, there were just a bunch of horny guys who just like wanted to know about cougars. How did you end up, uh, you know, with this guy? Yeah, bringing him into the mix. Well, I was doing stand up at the time. Uh huh. And he read passages out of it. This is from a chapter called "Release Your Inner Stripper." <laughs> I was like, "Well, we're using the same material. Why don't we just like collaborate?" Are you the only sibling? No. No, there are two. Is the other one uh, jealous of your relationship? It's a good question. I don't think either of them really want that relationship <laughs> with her. You know, I always grew up, my relationship with my mother, totally comfortable with her making out with my dad or whatever. Like it, never, it never grossed me out. Does it bother you to think of your mother as a sexual person? No, I'd hope she's having a, a robust sex well, she life. She is. Yeah. More robust than my own, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a few calls. Okay. Is this boy gonna bang his mom or what? The mother and son porn genre is booming. Are there offers for you two to put out a sex tape? No. No. What type of porn do you like? I like stills on Instagram of my exes. <laughs> do you find that sex has gotten better as you've aged? Absolutely. I invented the word cougar to be a confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy woman. I hate acronyms. Oh, I like that one, though, because, I, you know, if you say cougar, you get this image of this predatory being, and I don't want to think that when way. When I think of cougar, I think of an older woman who wants to bang younger dudes. That's, That's why I want to do the acronym. I know, but the acronym's so long, I don't remember one of the letters. Confident. And then I've learned to spell with acronyms, which I'm not good at either. Hi, uh, yeah, this is a question for Cam. Can you talk in a girl's voice? I'm having a real hard time finishing. Hey, Karen, how about you let me in your butt? I mean, how many topics can there actually be to discuss? It never ends. One guy actually offered to have me shit in the toilet, and then he was going to eat it, and he was going to give me three grand. When, yeah, yeah, okay, so you did that. <laughs> no, I did not. What, he, what, you wanted four grand? Yes, I did. What do you think, I'm cheap? Three grand's not Thanks. cheap. Yeah, I would have done it. Like... What do you think your shit's worth? Probably a good 50 bucks. Have you ever seen your mother naked? No, I haven't seen you Ew. naked. Maybe You've when never I was seen, a little well, of baby. Course, that didn't I remember looking at my mom's shirt before. I can remember like, oh, I remember seeing her nipples. Were you excited by that? No, but I remember thinking, like, do all women's nipples look like that? You know, the, 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 Wait, the well, what four is, What is this? That was a nipple. That was like, like, like. It was your a, mom had a it nipple a like this? Nipple? And four kids <laughs> breastfed all. Did you breastfeed oh. your children? Only the first for like six weeks. Would you do it now? <laughs> On camera, wait for the offer. I'm gonna bang your mom and make you my stepson. I hope a real cougar attacks you. Were you a strict parent? No, I was a cool mom. I always was scared of cool moms. Why? <laughs> I don't know if that's what you want to be sometimes. It, don't you want your wife to be a cool mom? Nope. Because a lot of times I associate the cool mom with like your friends going like, oh, I'd, oh, yeah. I'd hook up with your mom. Because then you feel this weird need to like like bulk up and like, hey man, knock it off with my mom. Well, so when I but was in college. But you're showing them because now you're banging her. <laughs> <laughs> you want America's Got Talent? Yeah. We're like kind of a choreographed spitting team. Come from a long line of spitters? <laughs> are there any topics that are off limits? We didn't need to talk about your anal experiences as much as we have. I like anal play more than I like the actual dick and ass thing. Yeah. I did not talk about anal experience. I said I like I anal play. That's different. Do you ever like delve into the world of politics or finances <laughs> or any of that stuff? Nah, except we're talking about finances. In terms People, of like, we need to sell some yeah, fucking vibrators some for me to make rent. Do you guys have your own line of vibrators? No, but I did get him and my boyfriend fleshlights. You know what fleshlights are? 
It is, I know what a flashlight is, mother. A flashlight. Right, Have no, you tried one? Yeah, of course. But then <laughs> the shame clean of it cleaning it Not is fun. like it's like all right. You know what? I, I'll, I'll buy a new one. It's the last thing you want to do after you ejaculate. Is yeah. clean out the sure. semen. Well, I put it in the dishwasher. That's uh, not a bad idea. Well, I mean, Rufina does, but regardless. <laughs> Who's that? That's my housekeeper. Your housekeeper cleans out your flashlight in the in the dishwasher. <laughs> she doesn't know what it is. Thanks for taking my call. I think the podcast is super helpful, especially if you're trying to blast nuts to a hot milf talking about ass sex. I'd like to apologize. That's my immature fan base. They get a little too honest when you get them all horned up. All right, I think it's time to wrap it up. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. When's this going to air? Oh, it just did. How does this podcast work? I've got some bad news for you. In addition to being a huge celebrity, I'm also a volunteer child protective service agent. Boom. It's upside down. Still valid. We don't have sex with each other. How many times do we have to tell you that, Daniel? Okay, then explain to me why you bought this inappropriate Mother's Day gift for her. You planted that. Tell it to the judge, you perverts. Take them away, boys. Can I keep that? Yes.